Let's be real, you probably didn't believe me when I said I was back, did you? I mean, I don't blame you, to be fair. There's about like, three or four times where I've said I'm back, and it's just been one up, one video for that like, whole month. So, I mean, you've got an excuse. Let's be real. But no, this time I meant it. Today, we are back with another video, and we are going to be looking at a rose list. And of course, this video is sponsored by pdcgostore.com. Do go check them out and get some codes for Vivid Voltage coming out very soon very soon. I believe it's this Friday. They've been supporting me throughout this time where I've even not been uploading. So they've been genuinely amazing to me. So if you do want to go show your support to them for supporting me, by all means, get it from them. And use the code FTW for 5% off at checkout. But of course, you want to see some good stuff, don't you? Let's get into the video. And we're going to be partnering Rose with Stonjourner VMAX. I think it's a pretty cool card to play. It seems like it's asking to play with Rose. There's really no efficient way to charge up Max Rockfall unless you're playing it with Colossal, which is a lot of resources and very slow. So I wanted to play this and actually see how it goes with Rose and how it matches up in the current format. But yeah, with that said, Let's get into it. Okie dokie, here we go. Um, actually, before we go into this, I've been thinking about an idea. I'd love to hear your feedback on it. Uh, kind of going back to the old challenges I used to do uh, for the time being. Well, I have no ideas. Um, <laughs> so I'm thinking about doing something like, you know, no supporter challenges, stuff like that. Um, I think that'd be pretty cool to upload. If there's any creative ideas that you have that could help out fill out the content of the channel <laughs> for the time being, um, that'd be absolutely fantastic. Because let's be real, with the way standard format is, for me, it's still pretty hard to kind of come up with creative ideas. Um, uh, so I want to go and uh, kind of branch into new ways of playing the game and, and, and creating content. I think that would be pretty cool. Um, why is Marshadow my champ in here? Well, it's for um, Zamazenta. When I came up against Zamazenta one time playing this deck when I was uh, working on it, I was like, well, it's an insta-loss. So I'd rather have something there to kind of deal with it. I've also thrown Heracross in here for a bit of fun. Um, a card to uh, basically help deal with something like a... Um, what's it? Uh, ADP, that's the one. <laughs> My brain is just farting all over the place today. Um, oh, which we might actually be playing today. So I decided to... I, I benched that very quickly. Let's just pass there. Turn one. Not the best turn one, really. We want to get a stone, uh, a stone journal down and a type null down, pretty much, uh, to really get this moving. But, okay, this is ADP. Heracross can come in kind of clutch here. Because what it does, it has turn the tables attack, which is basically if they use their GX attack, we can use this attack. We'll force them to shuffle all the cards away into their deck. Now, it's no discard or anything like that, so they still have the resources. But having them manually charge up an ADP, um, it can kind of cause a bit of a, a slowdown for them, obviously, because usually the way these decks want to go is charge up Ultimate Ray and use it and charge up. Now, obviously, in a, uh, in a Zacian deck, it's not going to be that crazy because, well, Zacian can charge itself up. But still, I want to test it out and see how it goes. It might just be a bit of fun. I don't really think it's the most meta call out there let's be real um because obviously if they had a zassian charged up by this point they can just come and take out the heracross take two prizes not ideal at all but we're gonna go for it anyway let's let's actually see if we can pull this off i'm gonna be greedy and go for a research because i really want to hit a switch so i really want to pull this attack off because it's just fun please yikes okay that's not good <laughs> uh we're still gonna look for it we are we're gonna do Dene and look for this switch 100 percent I really, really want to hit this. Um, do I need to? Not really, but sure, let's do it. All right, we're going to bring... Uh, should we keep the energy in the discard pile? Yeah, for the for the Rose play, just in case. Bring a Stone Journal back. I'm getting rid of one. Please give me a switch. I really want to just slap this thing away. Come on. Oh, come on. I was so looking forward to that. What a flop. What an absolute flop that was. We have three switches in the deck. I don't know what the odds were on not hitting one, but... Man, I'm so disappointed. Because now I can't use the Heracross. What a waste of an energy attachment as well. I've been considering energy switch um, on top of what we've been doing. This is bad. I think I think just flopping that Heracross has just killed us completely. I think the whole game's done. If I'm going to be honest with you. There's no real way to retreat this. There's no setup ready to go. This is a scoop, mate. See you later. Now you may be saying, hey, Sean, what happened to your whole no scoop idea? Well, you just don't, you play through the game. Listen, <laughs> listen, all right? It's kind of obvious when you're going to just completely lose. You have an ADP set up with its GX attack done, with a Zacian charged up, and you're sitting there not ready at all. It is game over. <laughs> it is 110% game over. Now, if there was some sort of setup we had in play, then I'd be a bit more optimistic about it. But no, definitely not. All right, this hand's not looking terrible, to be fair, because we do have Sylvalli here. Now, 
think in order to actually activate the Rose, I need an energy in a discard pile. So I'm going to go for a bit of a wild play here. I think I'm going... Oh, no, I need a VMAX in play. So I think that's kind of just... Yeah, all right. Let's just leave it at that for now. I was going to attach U-turn board to the type null, switch it into the active, manually retreat it to have an energy in a discard pile so we could use Rose. But um, I don't think that's happening without a, a VMAX. So... All right, sure thing, whatever. We can still play around it a little bit to some degree. What what, what deck is this? Rody Coley. Oh. So it's a toolbox deck. No, it's Machamp. Okay. All right, okay. I actually haven't played against this deck once. Um, it looks pretty cool. It's basically um, Night March, but for Machamp only and for fighting Pokemon only. And Machamp is a stage two. Oh, wow, they've really gone ham already. Yeah, my chapter stage two. So it's a lot slower than, let's say, a Night March deck. But it's still something to play. Shut up, foe! So I'm excited about that one. How this is going to go. Uh, oh, oh, we get the VMAX though. <laughs> Crying out loud. Okay, I'm just going to throw cards down here. This U-turn ball is not really made for Silver Valley. But I'm going to throw these down just to get the max out of this disc reload. This this, this is what saves us in this deck. <laughs> it really does. Do I have the Denny here or do I look for... The Denny looks like a bad shout. Yeah, the Denny's a really bad call here. Playing a fighting deck? Ugh. Yikes. Ah, there's one card I haven't put in this deck. And I've completely forgotten. I'm so stupid. I know, I know, phone. Um, I didn't put... Is, is Dojo still in this? Um, yeah, Dojo. Is Dojo still in the form? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I think it is. I think it is. But Dojo would be pretty good for this deck as well, actually, all things considered. Familiar Bell. Oh, wow. That's interesting. That's really interesting. Oh, wait. Search. Oh, I thought Familiar Bell was the same as, like, is it is it a friendly ball, love ball? What, the one where you can search for a Pokemon your opponent has in play. That's actually really good for this deck. Search Pokemon with the same name as one on your discard pile. That's actually pretty solid. All right. Um, okay, jokes aside, we're going to go in kind of dirty here. We're going to just target this Dedenne while it's here and take it out. What I'm going to do, I want to play a Marnie and limit them a little bit. Oh, do I? Yeah. I'm going to get rid of these two. Or do I get rid of the Rose? I'm going to get rid of the Rose. I'm going to disc reload here. Okay, that's what I wanted. Um, we're gonna. Do I Elder Goss for a Marnie or do I just hold the hand? Let's try limit them. Let's try limit them a, a little bit. Let's do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd rather use this for Rose and uh, Bosses orders, but I mean, that's fine by me to be honest with you. Okay. Um. Discard the Quick Ball. Let's get another one ready to go. We haven't even played a Rose yet, actually. To be fair, that's pretty solid. And we're just going to hold it off like that. There we go. Sweet. A nice, easy, quick two prizes there. I'm pretty happy with that. And uh, that's pretty solid. How much damage is, is this Machamp doing? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. So doing 14 right now. I uh, haven't charged up yet. So that's kind of good for us. Um, unless they go for some turbo patches and hit that. I don't see them attacking this turn, to be honest with you. Actually, Rock is a pretty good shot. Okay, I see how this deck works. I see how it works. I might give this a try, you know. Um, put my own little spin on it. But I, I, I see the idea of Roxy for this deck. That's actually really, really smart, to be honest. Um, well, what, what else can they do, really, here? They're not attacking, right? Karate Belt would have been really solid, actually, for them to have. Do, do they play that? That would have been a real solid move for them. I'm not going to Marnie here. I'm not going to Marnie. I'm really not going to Marnie. Come on. No. They're, they're, they're in trouble. I'm not giving them more cards. I'm just going to attack. That's fine by me, to be honest with you. Yeah, this is this is looking like a quick landslide. If it is, we'll get another one in there as well. Another game, that is. And go from there. Yeah. Yeah, scoop. Okay. <laughs> let's go for another one. Right here. Let's go, BB. What are we playing today, huh? Go on. Dark? I see dark. Hmm. Hmm. Eternus is, is weak to fighting, right? I think so. <laughs> Because I know some, uh, most of the Dark Pokemon now are weak to um, go first. Yes, we do want to go first. Um, are weak to grass? This hand's pretty solid. My phone won't stop going up. Yes! What are we doing with this hand? We are 
Gonna be playing those quick balls, baby. Krogunk. This is definitely Eternatus. Oh, wow. This hand's kind of fire, you know? This hand is kind of fire. Um, yeah. This hand is fire. Oh, what a start. Okay. We'll go for the Dedene now. Yeah. Being a bit aggressive with the Dedene. It's kind of a good target, but hey, that's fine by me. And we've got the Rose. Now, the thing is with Rose, right? Attached to and it, yeah, so it's actually first attached then discard if it was discard and attached This would be fantastic because we could discard and then attach these two energy, but that ain't happening So cool sure thing sure thing if we find a way to get those two energy in a discard pile Solid if they drop something like a Dedenne. Oh, they're not gonna drop a Dedenne are they? No, they're not It's an Eternatus deck. So no, it won't I was thinking um, The most efficient way to get them in the discard pile is quick ball or through great catcher But I don't really see us using great catcher in this matchup to be fair Oh, okay. Maybe I'm jumping the gun on assuming it's Eternatus. You can never tell if it's Eternatus because it plays. It's it's a dark box deck, dark box deck, right? So ah, fine, 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 fine. Oh, this is oh, this is going to be hard to play against, isn't it? I can already see it. Oh, Malamar V Max, doesn't it limit your hand or something? <sighs> this is going to be tough. Okay, it's definitely yeah. All right, it's definitely a turn. I do not. I'm going to shut my phone up now. Nah. Go on. Oh, I didn't mean that. Well, okay, sure thing. We'll roll with it. <laughs> that was annoying me so much. Marnie? No. I kind of want to be aggressive. We need to find stuff and just get this ball rolling. So let's... Do I bench this on Jurna? Mm, no. We've got, we've got recovery if we need it, so that's fine. I want a VMAX, and I didn't get one. Okay. At least we get a cheeky KO here, so I'm really not complaining. Okay. Sure thing. We'll take, the, we'll take the quick prize. It's fine. We should be able to beat this deck, okay? We should be able to beat Eternatus. We're kind of designed to beat it. We're a fighting type, okay? We're a fighting type. Ah, Koga's Trap's such an annoying card. We should be able to work around it, but... This doesn't look like a traditional Eternatus deck, though. It, it might just be a Malamar deck, and it might just be playing with the whole Slowbro... Um, Crow Gunk engine, to be fair. Annoying thing is, these, uh, these cards are not weak to fighting. Okay. There's ways to deal with this right now. You're definitely going there. You're going here. We could Malo and Lana retreat, right? But I kind of want to get... I kind of want to get a Stonjona ready to go because they're not attacking next turn at all. So, again, we're going to be aggressive with our resources here and just go for it. I want to put pressure on them. I really do. That's more like it. Um, but mm, no energy to attach this turn on it, which is a shame could yeah let's get another stone journal out now we could go for disc reload for one or we can bench the heracross but i really don't i really don't want to bench it so i'm just gonna i'm gonna disc reload for one if we if we have to take the l we take the l okay uh no pass pass that's that's annoying that's a bit annoying i thought playing a research would probably hit an energy but clearly not unfortunately god my posture is really bad look at that yeah straighten out <laughs> I'm too far away from the mic. I've got the mic in a slightly different position. Oh, quit. Okay, fine. Sure thing. Let's do another one. Hopefully no scoops. Or, well, we have to scoop. <laughs> Let's get a full game in, shall we? Please give me a good start. All right. Okay. That's all right. I, I actually cannot complain about that at all. Energy attachment, quick ball, another quick ball, research. This is looking nice, actually. Let's do that. Now, do I just double up the energy in the discard pile here? Is that what I do? Do I just prep myself for a rose? I really want to attach energy this turn, but I'm going to have faith. I'm having faith that we are going to be... Well, yeah. I have faith that we're going to be hitting one. Um, I could have just actually attach because these resources aren't really needed. Hmm. Oh, and I can't even play a support card. It's turn one. I have forgot the rules. Okay, pass. Misplay? Kind of? Maybe? I don't know. I wanted the energy in the discard pass. There's a lot... Yeah? No? We're playing an evolution deck. Ooh, this is intriguing. This is how you know you've gone to the bottom of the elo barrel. Right? <laughs> no disrespect to this fella, but I don't think there's an EV deck that's really out there in the meta. Jolteon, okay. Unless this is, one, that, this is that Jolteon list. I don't know. I'm talking too much. All right. Let's go for a Silver Valley Disc Reload quickly. Yeah, should we do that? Should pick out two cards. It's not the most effective one, but I'll take it. Okay. And I'm going to keep the energy in a discard pile. I'm not going to play the rod. I really want to prepare for a rose next turn. Oh, this is looking good. This is looking nice. <laughs> looking real good. All right, let's do um, Stone Gift. 
And then next turn, we're good to attack. Again, facing a lightning deck, so weak to fighting. Can he complain? I can he complain. Oh, wow. This is a throwback and a half. Do you remember when this card was like top tier? This was tier one. I remember those days. Oh, wow. Okay. This is reminiscent of the Jolteon deck I did ages ago. I mean, to be fair, it's really not a bad shout right now, is it? The, the, the old speed energy and all that. Free retreat. Damage is very low, though, which is the, probably the biggest problem. We don't have Electro Power to support it anymore either. So, you know, there's this and that. Pokemon Catcher. Wow. Okay. Caught me well off guard there. We need to hit a switch then. I didn't see what they got there. Eevee. Okay. Yeah, I mean, obviously it's not as good as it was back in the day. Jolteon lost a lot of resources. Please, switch, switch, switch. Give me a switch. Give me a switch. Come on. Ah, hmm. uh, I don't know. I don't know. We can be cheeky with Heracross here. And we can be like, right, you can, you can go for your swift run. But if we hit a switch and an energy, you're going in the uh, in back in the deck. I just really want to hit this Heracross for once. It, it just seems fun. I'm going to get it in there. I really want to do it. It's just my own personal thing, okay? Let me let me do it. I'm actually going to bench another Type Null just in case this one goes down this turn. Disc Reload! Hit me with it, boy! That's actually really good. Okay. Uh, what's our resources saying? Ordinary Rod is down, so do I want to... Yeah, I don't mind voting. I want you in the discard pile. What's our energy in the discard pile saying quickly? Already got two. Don't want to ditch supporter, but I really want to hold an energy. I'm going to do this. Yeah. Look at... Oh! Gorgeous. Gorgeous. That is the perfect timing. Absolute perfect timing for a Malo and Lana. See you later, mate. Go on. Get. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, so this is probably just a straight Jolteon deck by the looks of it. So I'm not going to be shocked if next turn, if they don't pull anything off, it's a scoop again. Okay, I'm so confused. Fire energy, and there's special energy as well, which means that they're a lot harder to search for. So I'm quite intrigued how they are planning to make this deck function. Scoop. Okay, fine. One more. Okay, one more. All right. All righty. Game four. Let's go. Fingers crossed we get a full game out of this, and it's a pretty good one as well. Please don't give me a botch hand, and they... Man, I was expecting this to be fair. After a certain amount of games, you do get the odd hand here and there. Man, that's a shame. At least we get a mulligan. Okay, fire deck. Hmm. Please give me something decent. Okay, at least we can get the Dedenne out of the active. But this is so bad. <laughs> oh, disgusting. Ah, uh, breaks hard. Okay. All right. I've heard here, here and there. I've heard a few things about breaks hard being played. I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments. I don't know. I don't know how right I am about all this stuff. Okay, I'm still kind of getting back into the into the loop, but you know, that be that. I have been keeping an eye on the limitless TCG stuff, though. I've been checking the website and uh, um, keeping an eye on what is top tier, what isn't, how things are. Just a gen general idea of how the how the game's going. So I'm not all out of it, but you know. All right, so they're looking for their switch clearly. Oh, Fionn, that's bad. That's really bad. All right, I don't really see a GX attack being used. I do want to use the hair. I really want... Wow. Two welders down already. You're going very turbo here, my friend. Very turbo. That's a pain. Okay, strange setup for them, to be honest. They got rid of a lot of valuable resources, so I, I can't complain. All right, is throwing the Dene in the active actually beneficial here? I mean, I am going to research. There is no way. Let's get an energy. Let's just throw Dedenne out. I know I could have attached to get ready to retreat, but I really want to find a switch. I, I want to find three cards here. I want to find a stone journal, a switch, and an energy. So because of that, I'm going for a research. Yeah, I need to find three cards. So obviously the odds increase. <laughs> wow. Pretty, pretty, pretty nice. <laughs> I think I made the right call there. Don't you think? Yes, let's get rid of this quick ball. I want to keep the Malo and Lana just in case we really need it. If not, we're just going to research next turn. So I don't really need the quick ball so desperately. And if they uh, fail to retreat this this turn, nice cheeky KO for us. So that's, that's pretty good as well. So they are, are under pressure again, forced to retreat this thing. 
um, this thing. I'm sorry, Dedene, you're gorgeous, okay? D -d Retreat, Dedene. Treat you with the respect you deserve, right? God, Dedene just smite. <laughs> Give me a little static shot. <laughs> Why am I finding that funny? Oh, wrong one. Meant to do type now. That's fine, it's okay, these things happen. At least I know they're not really pulling off an attack this turn. I don't think they can go for the Heatran, but... No, because they've played the research, they've attached for the turn. There's no way of getting out energy out into play unless it's a... Yeah. Yeah, I don't see them doing that. Sure thing. Gives us a turn. Which means... It's going to be research town, baby. All right, at least we know that the Dene is there as a cheeky pick later on in the game. If we have a, just a stone journal down with just an energy, it could be quite solid. It could be quite useful for us to just pick it out with a boss's orders and then just hit it for 80 and then get a nice KO, maybe for game even. So that's pretty solid. Could go for the likes of a Malo and Lana here just to retreat. But I'm going to, again, just bank my luck on this research. Um, yeah. Marnie could really do well here, to be honest. Put a bit of limitation. Actually, do you know what? Marnie might... No. I don't think Marnie's a shout. The odds of them having a welder in hand are probably not that great. Because they've just gone last turn for a power pad, thrown welders back into the deck. So Marnie's actually going to increase the odds of them hitting a welder. They've got the giant heart. So, yeah, that's a bad idea. So let's go for... Let's do a research. See, I'm actually thinking about these things. But see? Having a break helped. <laughs> I say with full confidence. <laughs> I need to find that switch, so I'm gonna go get a um, get a Silver Valley down here and go for. Do you know what? That Elder Goss could be cheeky to have back in it. I'm keeping the energy for the Rose. I'm gonna throw you back in. I'm gonna disc reload here, and we've got a Dedene play, which I don't really want to do because I don't want two Dedenes down. But I'm I'm going for this switch. I don't care what you say. I'm going. I'm going in. I'm I'm hunting. I am hunt. I want a switch now. Uh, bugger. Here's where we're going to be a bit cheeky, okay? Do I throw a Heracost down to kind of intimidate them? Because they could be looking to do Crimson Pillar Flame just to get energy into play because they are kind of slacking a little bit on that. Or, you know, even after they go for, a, if they go for a Heatran GX attack. Heracost, see you later. Free energy off the board. Uh, let's do it. Let's intimidate them a little bit. Let's just show them, say, hey, look. Oh, we don't even have it. Fine, fine. Okay, fine. Whatever. <laughs> we'll get a stone journal out. That wasn't even the plan, but sure. <laughs> the opportunity presented itself. Thus, I must take it. Okay. Pass. Not, not nice at all. Don't want to do this, but sure. Oh, they're going for the Heatran? What? Not sure how that happened. All right. Caitlin and Cynthia recovered a research. They're just going for the Heatran. I mean... I'll take it. I will take it, mate. Just give me a switch. Yes! Okay. Options. I've got options. I've got options. I've got quite a few options here, actually. Now, this could be a real threat, okay? This could be dangerous for us. So, I have to think quickly. <gasps> oh, think on your feet, Sean. Think on your feet. Okay, I'm definitely playing the switch. That's fine. Do I... Oh, I can't. I can't hunt for another Dedene. So, I have to play a supporter. And I haven't got the energy. Okay. <gasps> okay, Sean. Think. Use your, use your noggin, use your noggin, use your noggin. I'm gonna get rid of this money. Please. If there is a god, please. <laughs> I am looking for. Do I go for another Silver Valley? Or do I get another Stone Journal already? I've only got one left in deck. So I'm gonna go for another Silver Valley here. If we, if we get the chance. All right. I can boss his order now, right? That, like, you're a bit of a lurking threat, aren't you? Um, to, to be fair, the biggest threat is this Heatran. This is, this is the one that can has that one-shot potential. Really dangerous stuff. I can boss his orders now. Increase the odds of hitting an energy. How many energy are in... Okay, three. Uh, fine, fine, I'll do it. I'll do it, please. Risk it for a biscuit. What do we say? We risk it for a biscuit. Hit me with an energy. Yes! Okay, nice. KO. Two prizes. Okay, I know it's not really ideal, but I mean, we have a kind of mapped out way to go about this game, which is nice. And we got a rose. Okay, okay. Um, the Dene, easy two prizes in the late game. If We have the Elder Gods for a boss's orders. Easy two prizes, okay? Simple stuff. 
where do we get the last two? I don't want it to be on a break side. I want to be taking out something like this. An absolute actually would be solid, you know. Oh, this is why I wish I wish I had the dojo because the dojo would put this guard press into a one shot on this Absol, which would just. Oh wait, no, that's that's one prize. I'm see, I'm well, I'm in on over my head. I am. <laughs> Give me a. Do we have Malo and Lana still? We do. But I'm gonna be sneaky. I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna be annoying. No wait, no, that was a bad idea. That's, no, I shouldn't be annoying. Okay, what's our HP? 250. So even if they drop the... They still can't KO one hit, one shot us with a break side. They can, though, with a Houndoom. And that's dangerous. Um, no, no, no. They still can't with a Houndoom. Fine. That's fine. So I guess I'll just take the KO here while I can. Let's um, see what support we can get. I really don't want to be using research right now. We're really low on resources. Maybe I, should have, I shouldn't have benched that type null. Because what I could have done is just, you know, drop an Elder Goss. Get boss's orders if we have one. Oh, scoop. Right. I guess this deck just makes people just want to. Well, I mean, what can I say? You've seen the deck in action. It's just scoop town everywhere. <laughs> Let's go to the list. Alrighty, here it is. Of course, this can be changed a little bit. A Heracross, again, it's for fun. All right. I wanted to do it. I wanted to see if I could pull it off. But hey, it's not really needed. But I like it. It's, it's, it's an interesting thing. Uh, to be fair, I, I did have an idea a while ago on how to deal with a Zamazenta that wasn't this card, because I'd rather not play Marshal Demachamp. Machamp. It's just clunky naturally anyway, and it's just a waste of space in the deck. It's only there to deal with something like a um, Zamazenta, but I think there's another way of doing it. I know I could just simply use a Storm Genna V, um, but hey, this has the one-shot potential. That's kind of why it's there. It has its GX attack. It could be used and utilized to some degree, at least. Um, but yeah, other than that, though, I think it's just pretty... Pretty solid, pretty all rounded, pretty consistent, actually, as you can tell. It really does do its thing. And a Sunshine is really not hard to get going. Um, and if you are put under pressure, you've got the Dene's Elder Glosses. You've got a ton of potential draw to dig for those roses that you may need to be able to charge these things up quickly. So, overall, quite interesting. Funnily enough, I don't even think we played Rose once in this actual um, video. <laughs> which is interesting because it's supposed to be about Rose, but I guess we never really needed it. Um, which is interesting. Maybe having more ways to get energy in a discard pile so we could fully utilize it might be a better way. But I thought with the likes of Research, Quick Ball, Great Catcher, I thought we should be fine. The Dene's, I think, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. I just think we never really needed it. That's all. But yeah, with that said, I think we're going to leave it there. Um, wow, pretty cool. Also, quick shout out to my Instagram. I will be doing some music there. So if you, I know some of you know I do music. I do rap and stuff and I do singing and all that kind of jazz. If you want to hear me do that, in the description down below will be my Instagram. Go and check that out. I'll be dropping something very soon for you to enjoy. Other than that, of course, please do like if you did enjoy and subscribe for more. Most importantly, though, take care of yourself and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.